Ni hao ma. Dan the Wolfman here, guys. I forgot to tell my three Wing Chun stories in my Wing Chun Only Mostly Sucks videos. That's getting good views. Guys, I forgot to tell some Wing Chun stories. I gotta tell some Wing Chun stories because everybody Wing Chun tonight. Okay? So here's my three little stories about Wing Chun because if you watch my Wing Chun Only Mostly Sucks except video, we talk, of course, about the chain punching. Okay? Notice I don't do this because then you're open to a double egg, a duck under, and all kinds of things. I'm not a bicycle. Fire. Drop. Bullet comes up into the chamber and slide. Fires just like a semi. Ah, two, magic. Okay. So, guys, my three Wang Chun stories. Let's see in order of time in my life. The first one, the very first time I ever moved to L.A. because I was an idiot and I left university to join Tito Ortiz's team punishment because he invited me. And last minute, I dropped out of university right before it started and moved to California. So I get off the plane and as it's landing, I'm like, yo, everybody, hey, please help me. Where do I go? What youth hostel should I go to? I got nowhere to live. So, um, anyway, I went and stayed Hermosa Beach, Hermosa Beach Youth Hostel, 11 days, had the time of my life, and um, there was a little kind of cubby hole there, a lot of times people would go and drink, not a big drinker, wasn't even then, but hey, so um, I went to like hang out with like, you know, all these cool chicks from England and Australia that I, I met. Um, a group of three of them. Um, anyway, uh, went to hang out. I was a young strapping guy with muscles back then, guys. I wasn't like old and fat, like I know. Anyway, um, went to the room and like I think people were drinking vodka because I sat down and introduced to this Ukrainian guy, a Russian guy. I think he was Ukrainian. And people were like, oh, he does martial arts too. And I sit down, I'm like, well, what martial art do you do? You do? He goes, Wing Chun. And I go, I know some Wing Chun too. And, you know, I guess that, that like, sarcasm doesn't go over well. In Russia, that would be like a full-blown street fight. So he l literally, maybe we were standing, or you just stood up. I don't know. I think maybe, I guess we are standing. He literally straight blasts me, chain punches me. Okay, literally. He's coming at me. And I'm like pox sowing these punches. <laughs> like, and we're like kung fu fighting. But this guy was good. <laughs> he was really good. Because I was bigger than him. And he had crazy forward pressure. And it wasn't a big room. And he pushes me back. Until my back hits the wall, and I'm mostly parrying, pox sowing these punches, or bong sowing, and probably pox sowing the punches. Okay. And his forward pressure, and I'm trying to like pock and punch back, but his forward pressure is taking me back. So it almost looks like really fast moving chisa. And I changed levels, uh, parry this punch, change levels, pick him up with the double leg, pick him up over my shoulder where I could have slammed him. I said, Okay, very good. Uh, is that enough? Can we stop here? Oh, yeah, and he steps. I said, yeah, 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 that's good. <laughs> so I set him down. But I don't know this guy, mind you, and he just came at me with, like, real chain punches. <laughs> and he was better than me because he was able to blast me backwards with his forward pressure. <laughs> so uh, we stopped, and I think we drank and <laughs> became buddies. <laughs> Hung out. <laughs> Everyone hung out. And it was a good time after that. But it was like, uh, you know, reverted to MMA. It was like, I could have slammed you and then probably kicked your ass. But yeah, your Wing Chun was probably better than mine. So there's my first Wing Chun story. I hope you get a laugh out of it. But like, I've tested it against some good people in weird ways. Because that leads me to story number two. Story number two is... I'm... Uh, maybe it was that first time I was living out there. Maybe it was a little bit after. I don't know. I need to look up the dates. Because, you know, 
was trying to get in the entertainment industry and at that point I maybe had one principal role shooting Gio Rowney or BC in something as a cop and then, I don't know like um, anyway extra work and I show up to be a extra background actor at the very first day of shooting of Crank 2. So I show up early because it's Crank and I'm walking in and I have a, a UFC shirt on that actually a nice wardrobe lady on the set of I was a regular blackjack dealer on the TV show it was a casino I don't know guys Las Vegas Las Vegas right I think it was called Las Vegas anyway just segued um, she had given me some UFC merch because she like knew who I was and stuff and I kind of became friends with Josh Tuhamel. I think he just saw me post on his Facebook page or something because they're like, yo, yo, Josh, what's up? It's Dan from Las Vegas. Are you still doing jiu-jitsu? Because one day he walks up to me. I just totally lost track. So here's a jiu-jitsu story. Josh Tuhamel, Dan, Dan, Dan. I said, what? He's like, guess what, guess what, guess what? I'm like, what? He's like, guess what was my house the other day? I'm like, what? Cause you taught me in freaking jujitsu. Oh, he's crazy. He came over the other day. So I think he's maybe continued. I don't know if Josh Duham will let, let, let the world know. Are you still doing jujitsu, brother? Anyway, I had a UFC shirt on. Totally, that was unrelated other than the UFC shirt where I got it. So that's what happens when you take a lot of brain damage over the years. So anyway, I was early and Jason Statham comes out of his trailer. And like, I'm a good ways away, but he must have seen like the big, kind of big guy at the time, like with the UFC shirt on. And, and Jason Statham walks up to me, and I know that he had done some training with Bas Rune. So he comes up to me, we chat for a minute, you know, and uh, introduces himself and all that. And I said, yeah, I know I know you take things pretty seriously. I know you train with Bas sometimes. I trained with Bas twice. I flew out to train with him the day on the way uh, on the way to Tokyo to fight Kondo on two weeks notice when everyone was too scared to fight the Pancras champion. I was going to train with Frank Shamrock because I was friends with Frank at the time, but Frank um, was getting no surgery done, so I had to change it, and I went and trained with Boss Rutan at the old Beverly Hills Jiu-Jitsu Academy. I'm really segueing. It, trust me, it's a Wing Chun story. That's an MMA Jiu-Jitsu story. I don't know. It's light, guys. Anyway, um, met Jason Statham. Jason Statham is now, I believe, a purple belt in Jiu-Jitsu. I believe the guy from Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the Marvel Universe just got his black belt. Congratulations, everybody. Anyway, in, in Tobbs and whatever the with The Rock, the show you're doing, Jason, I want to come do stunts on that. And, you know, we can roll, brother. We can roll. Hey, guys, Rock, Tanoa Reed, Jason Statham, contact me. I'm 240 pounds, pretty muscular, actor stunt, man. I can, you know, do tactical stuff and obviously martial arts stuff. So let me do stunts on the show and... Me and Jason Statham can roll around. Maybe The Rock, might, Dwayne might like some cool catch wrestling stuff. Who knows? So, um, anyway, later on that day, we just hang around. I think it was going to be an extra, like, strip, strip, strip club or something. I don't know. Watching girls and whatever. I'll do it for money. Whatever. Um, and I was outside, and the stunt woman, she was there as a stunt woman I didn't know. I'm talking to... Spice Williams Crosby and I ask her what she's done before and she says Wing Chun and again I'm like well I've done a little bit and like boom she starts <laughs> is this Wing Chun thing? <laughs> she starts coming with like actual friggin pressure I think I'm like okay we can pop punch or something and like it becomes like a whole like we're like kung fu fighting right and it's starting to get like pretty heated she's like a she's the bodybuilder stunt woman tough chick teaches self-defense and like we're like really kung fu fighting <laughs> for like a good minute and um then I think the stunt coordinator who I don't know who it was so please don't hold it against me. I was like new to the industry, non-union at the time, I think. And um, anyway, <laughs> um, the stunt coordinator was like, whoa, what do you guys, you guys chill out, chill out, stop it. <laughs> but like she was skilled. <laughs> and like we were like really kung fu fighting uh, and I'm probably getting in trouble on this set of crank. 
Anyway, Jason Statham was in whatever, and I don't think he liked the fight choreography or like he's a real martial artist, so he wanted to be really involved in the fight choreography. Anyway, that's my second story. My third story is my first day ever sparring the Oda Machida at Blockhouse. I tell a little bit of sparring story stories, guys, because I pump other guys up. I don't like, you know, I say what they're good at, whatever. People are like, oh, that's so taboo. Like, no, not when you've sparred them for like your whole life. Um, my first time sparring Lyoto Machida. I'm like, Lyoto, I'm going to spar you as me the first round, and then from here on out, I'll help you in camp, and I'll be, I'll pretend to be Ryan Bader, because I'm kind of built like Ryan Bader, right? I'm not as tall, maybe not as muscular, but like, stocky guy, kind of wrestler build. Uh, so, you know, I'll throw big hands or whatever, but this round I'm going to be. So, anyway, that round I was, which means I'm going to try doing tricky stuff, which means I gave Lyoto Machida a straight blast. Nothing hit him, but I was able to clinch him. Um, and I talked about that in the, the Wing Chun Only Mostly Sucks video. I show footage of that. How to use the straight blast or chain punches to get to the clinch. The Oda Machida, the most elusive guy in MMA, the most elusive footwork. I got to him because of the chain punch. I also later got to him with a Kali Tudo. Step out, step out, draft with the fake lead. Uh, right cross under hook and then drove him to the wall, controlled him against the wall for a little while, couldn't take him down. But I was able to get him against the wall. So I was able to get the guy that can't be clinched up twice, once with the uh, chain punch straight blast, another time with Kali Tito, Mark Denny had showed me entry. Um, so just putting that out there. So guys, I don't know if this was interesting at all, but there are three Wing Chun stories that I completely left out. My Wing Chun only mostly sucks videos. If you haven't seen it, guys, let's get it more views. Wing Chun only mostly sucks except, and this started kind of as a series maybe now because Aikido only mostly sucks except because of another guy heard a hits video saying Aikido still sucks. Um, so people have really been loving the Aikido one. In one week I got over 3k views. Wing Chun's only at 865 guys. Check it out. Anyway guys, I do all kinds of martial arts blended together. I hope you like my perspective and please sub share. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks.